what's going on guys so we got new updates uh, updates always on Friday sometimes the video is gonna be late sometimes updates are delayed there's really nothing you can do about it um, my goal is to get it on the, the day not have any more day delays and so far we've been consistent with that we've had it on on the Friday every single day every single week rather but um, obviously this is 730 I think the update was actually like in game by like 6 p.m. so like an hour and a half ago is when it was when I was is when I would say it was about up. There was supposed to be a Q&A stream that got delayed and canceled. We just had problem after problem. Dark stayed up till uh, I think like 5 a.m. to work on the uh, to try to get Vasa up. We're, the Vasa is back, uh, and he spent he spent he stayed up for for such a long time to try to fix it and and get it up and. Uh, the entire time the server has, it's really just been the worst i've ever seen the server in, in in any server i've ever owned today i just i don't know man it's like all of the shittiest people just got together and amped each other up and just hyping each other up it's, it was rough but uh, i'm happy the update's out now it's always stressful in update days uh let's get into it so we have the second batch of skill kit perks and again i think i sent it in the first video i'm gonna say it again i'm gonna do a full proper video on all of the skill kit perks so if you want to just sort of glance over them, they're going to be in the, uh, I'll sort of put it right here. You can take a look if you want. I'll put it in the description as well if you want to read over it. Some of the highlights would be the crafting cape is pretty cool. I'll show off, like, I'll show off the, the ones I like the most. Crafting cape is very simple. Uh, hopefully that's the ID. Yeah. 986. 98. So activate. Boom! It makes all of your keys for you. Crystal keys and half keys are pretty a uh, pretty big deal on this server. You get them often, and one of the things I've noticed is it's kind of annoying once you have like 500 or so, and then you gotta like use item on item for like an hour, and you end up doing that a million times. And um, this just saves everybody else. And I think for crafting, this is the you know I think this thing it fits crafting, and I feel like it's better than anything else we gotta come up with. So I'm very stoked that that is a thing now. I'll be completely honest, I came up with the idea because I was cheating. On Pepper, I would just empty the amount and then give myself the amount of full keys. Because I'm way too lazy to be doing that. And that's what gave me the idea to actually make it a thing for everybody to use. So, uh, yay for me cheating. Uh, the hit points cape is pretty cool. It heals you two more. Every food heals two more. Um, and then uh, Slayer gives you access to jumbo tasks, which, if I can remember the ID, 13... Yeah, that is. I'll show you what they look like. Basically, you just get 99 of of a monster. 99 neck rails, and you get a good little point boost at the end of it. So, that should be pretty cool. Uh, donator teleports have been added. People have been wondering why these are useful. If you don't know why it's useful, then it probably isn't useful to you. It's really one of those things where it's only useful to people that it's... that People who, like, want it, or the people that want it. It's... I, I, f I can find a lot of uses for it. There's been a lot of times where I'm constantly teleporting back to the, the CZ. And obviously, it's not that hard to just keep typing in CZ, 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 etc., etc. But having a one-click teleport, that like an option in your inventory, is pretty convenient. I feel like the price, I may maybe made them too expensive if they're 10k each. I'm definitely going to use them, and, you know, f and there's obviously room in the future for them. So it's one of those updates where if it's not for you, it's not for you. Uh, fixed some, there's been some fixes, redid voting, voting was kind of, um, I'll, I'll just open up some now, voting was sort of balanced one way, and then when we made the changes to make it a lot better, we didn't undo or, or rebalance it in some other way, so for example, that the seven day vote streak reward was 50 vote tickets, now imagine you vote seven days in a row, and you just get 50 mystery boxes, like that's, it's a little, it was a little too good, we made it 15 now, um, and then you also used to get double offs, because offs were you get you got double vote tickets per off rather, and that used th that was really kind of uh, um, pointless in the old system. And now, obviously, since you, you they're essentially mystery boxes, it's a lot better, and you get pug points as well. So that's another thing you got you got to factor in. So with all of that, we did some reworking. Let me just kind of open up a couple here, see what you can get. As for the voting websites, I know that we have some issues with them. Dark was working on that. Uh, he his laptop broke. And so he lost like two days of development time, and it just wasn't it wasn't possible for this update. So hopefully that's coming out soon. Uh, the rapier special attack was improved. Um, I don't have like good gear to like test it, but just look at the gear I'm in. 
and let's uh, try and see if we can't hit something worthwhile. Let's uh, let's get pots. Uh, let's see they win. Potting up. Henry, uh, why did I, I've seen this dude around? He's only 81 combat. I could have sworn he was higher combat. Um. Yeah, I mean, this isn't really doing this isn't doing the special justice. But trust me, it, it's a lot better. I think you can hit like 70s and whatnot now, so it's a lot more worthwhile. Um, and people wonder what it does. It just does damage. It doesn't have special attack. Neither does the Twisted Bow. They just do damage. That's all they do. Uh, when you throw spears at Tuz, you get more experience now. I feel like that's that's where the experience needs to be improved. If it needs to be improved again, let me know. We'll take a look at it. I'm not. A, I, I want to make it so it's actually like a decent hunter experience method rather than just for the loot and shit. Um... And then the last one, the Tier 95 Slayer Monster, which came out. Uh, I showed a little bit of that uh, in the preview video, so I'm not going to go all, you know, all hard. Look at, look at John over here, spoiling his video. Um, all right, there's something attacking me. Maybe I should not be right there. Let me check. Adventure. So you got these two dudes. These are the loot piles. The blue, the blue right crossbow works like a dragon warhammer. The dragon warhammer was also buffed in this update. If you saw my last worth of video, that was what it was on, and has been improved since. Let's see this. The elfin locks, the one with the party hat, does have a chance of dropping a Christmas tracker. It is one in sixty-nine thousand four hundred twenty. So good luck. Uh, the the rare drop from Tecton is twenty-five thousand, um, and no one's ever gotten that. Obviously, Tecton is a lot harder to kill than this, so we'll have to monitor it. It seems like maybe it's too easy. We'll we'll make adjustments, but I think one in sixty nine k is pretty. That's pretty rare. I don't I don't expect to see it. Definitely not anytime soon. Even though there's there's sort of some hype around it. Like I think every spot has a couple people at it. I think they're mostly going for. The, actually, I have no clue if they're going for that one. The hot please has the best loot, so people are probably killing that more. But obviously, if you want the big loot at the end, then there's the uh, the um, the cracker. And then the last thing is the Vasa burfs. Or, uh, Vasa is back, basically. So, in terms of what changed, uh, now he attacks everyone. And the drops are not wildly different when I show you them. Uh, Vasa. You're not going to notice a whole lot of change. It's going to look roughly similar. Um, uh, remove some items. And if you look at sort of like the, uh, amounts, you're, 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 like if it says 15, you're not necessarily going to get guaranteed 15. That's really the main change. Is before every amount it said, like, was the amount you got. And that's sort of been adjusted a little bit. The actual items, the very rares, are, are the same. Like I said, in most in most cases, like for the Twisted Bow, it's as low as it could possibly go. So I couldn't make it lower even if I wanted to. So in terms of drop rates for that, it's roughly the same. There's a couple more rare items which will affect that. Um, but again, the main thing you're going for is the very rare table anyways. So uh, the chance of that is always the same. Um, the... Uh, there was an issue with untradable items. Basically, untradable items, you're, they're, you're supposed to always keep them. But there was an issue sometimes where if the untradable item count was, was, was had more value than a, not, than a tradable item, you would keep the untradable over it, even though you always keep untradables. So even though you're supposed to keep five items and then all your untradables, you would keep, if you had, like, some shitty items, let's say you just had, like, Ranars on you, you, would keep, you wouldn't keep those. You would just keep whatever your good items were and then, you know, all your untradables. And that's been fixed. If you check your items kept on death, it's going to be... It's going to include items you would not lose anyways, although I guess that's not really a good example with the items I have in on me. Um, yeah, I guess that doesn't really work out. I need something like... Something untradeable that has a high value. Uh, I don't think I have any of that in this bank. Unless I had, like, a twist. Uh, what about the... What's, what's the... Uh, uh, 4255... Nope. Just typing that out loud like a re-re. Uh, did that do anything to us? That didn't really help us. I guess the value of this isn't as high as other items. Basically, if we had an item that was untradeable that had a really high value, such as maybe a schematic. If I knew a schematic idea off the top of my head, I'd spawn it. But <laughs> basically, if I had like, a schematic, instead of keeping like Armadillo Chain Scart, I'd keep the schematic. Even though I would have always kept the schematic anyways. But that's been fixed, so it's all good. Um, the imbued heart and the eye now require 75 magic and or range, respectively. Um, the reason for it was just this weird little glitch that could sometimes happen for people to, like, buff their stats up high. It's technically still possible, but I'm less worried about it at this point, so, you know. 
we'll uh, we'll fix the root of the problem later on. It's sort of one of those things that people I I forgot. And then I asked people to remind me things I might have forgotten, and that was one of the things that they reminded me of, so that's the honest answer right there. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there's supposed to be a Vasa mask, but there's, uh, it's, it's probably not going to be for a while. If, I, if, I, um, if it does happen, like a good one happens, I'll stream, and I'll show you how that goes. There was a lot of hype earlier on today. We had, like, 85 people waiting for the update. It just didn't happen, so I uh, apologize for that. Like I said... I, I've been on since 10 a.m. and it is 7:40 now. It, it's almost like a mirror of my last video. Um, it's very similar, though. You know, that's that's that, that's how the updates go. We just had a lot of those issues that it really it, the, the most annoying thing about it is it's not really like the lack of code or lack of knowing what we're doing. It was just this it, like we had a lot of sync errors. It's the program we use to, to sync our files. He um, lives in Syria, so it's obviously hard sometimes to sync correctly. And we've had a lot of issues. Most of our issues were related to that. And same with the last update. The last update was really worse because we both did more things and more files. And essentially everything I did would get undone and everything he did would get undone. And it was a pain in the ass. Luckily that wasn't that bad this time around. But again, we've been busting our ass and got, got a whole lot of thanks for it. So <laughs> what can you do? That's the RSPS life. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope if you have any suggestions for anything at all. Let us know. The next update should include the last batch of skill kit perks. Mining to farming. If you have any suggestions, you can still have time to shoot. And once all of those are done, we are going to, uh, we're going to, I'm going to release a, just a full video on all of the, the skill kit perks. And I'll, I'll probably do some sort of like mini ranking system. I'm not going to rank every, ah, maybe I'll, maybe I will. Maybe I will rank every single one in terms of how good it is. Might be hard to do because obviously some are different. Like the crafting one maybe isn't crazy useful, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be up there for me because I like it you know what I mean but uh, yeah there's always uh, there's always room for that but uh, thanks for watching I apologize for the lack of videos this week it really just came from I was really busy. I, I had a lot of stuff to do in real life and um, didn't have time to finish code which is why today was so hectic it's really my fault for just being delayed this week but you know sometimes it happens I'm I'm really happy we we weren't delayed a day I told Dark I'm like I know everybody's hyped for Vasa but I don't want to delay a day. I don't want to delay a day. We'll release without it if we have to. And if, it sucks because he grinded so hard to get it out and it, it just didn't work out well. But that's life.